Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on a busy Wednesday afternoon. Shenandoah officials are pondering how best to curb underage vaping issues following the defeat of an ordinance amendment Tuesday night. By a 3-2 to two vote, the Shenandoah City Council rejected a proposed amendment to the city's public health and safety ordinances, setting an age restriction of 21 for entering businesses selling vaping or nicotine materials and establishing simple misdemeanor fines for clerks, retailers, and underage persons purchasing the materials. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, City Administrator A.J. Lyman says the police asked the city to craft the amendment in light of the underage vaping issues in the community. Shenandoah fire officials seek a new tool in helping defray some of the costs of battling fires. At that same regular meeting last night, the Shenandoah City Council set a public hearing for March 14th at 6 p.m. on a proposed amendment to the city's fire protection ordinance. Under the amendment, the fire department would collect insurance to cover some of the fire's expenses. Shenandoah Fire Chief Justin Marshall told the council the proposal is based on some of the larger fires his department has handled over the years. Clarenda School District residents are reminded of the particulars for next Tuesday's special election. Voters go to the polls March 7th on that $14 million bond issue and the voted physical plant and equipment levy for a myriad of improvements to the district's pre-K-6 building as well as the 712 complex. In Page County, polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. next Tuesday, March 7th. At the Clarinda Lead Public Library, Clarinda District residents uh, residing in Taylor County cast ballots at the New Market Community Center during those same hours. And the window is now open to Missouri for those wishing to vote ahead of time for next month's municipal elections. Absentee voting opened up in Missouri on February 21st ahead of the April 4th municipal elections. And Ottawa County Clerk Melinda Patton talked about it with KMA News. KMA on track weather for this afternoon, mostly sunny, highs in the lower 50s tonight, uh, turning mostly cloudy uh, with lows in the upper 20s. And then on Thursday, a slight chance of snow before noon, then a chance of rain and snow in the afternoon, 30% chance of precip with highs in the low 40s. More news at 12.05 and 1.05 and 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.